Cat Sang getting softened up. There goes Grixer as well. And all of a sudden it's Kanzen, but a beautiful double play. Trying to ride out the final four seconds. He has no idea where that diffuser is. SMG up. They're watching in this position. As he goes to swing out, there's both Coded and Cat Sang watching from this angle. Kanzen, are you a miracle worker? You only need one more. Kansen. And there it is. One of the best plays that we've seen at this tournament. Needs to hit a one versus three. He gets the first, the down player on Cool Vibes. Secures his double, but he's going to need a 4k to win this one, Dev. And he doesn't have info on where that plant went down. He's going to try to bait out shots from Diesel, but Diesel's so patient on the trigger figure. He spots him. What a great yeah, shot for third shoe. It's a one versus one. All on Derpe for the game here. Otherwise, just sending home two points. Virtue has to clutch it. We know he wins these. Surely he wins these. But time's ticking away. He sees the feet. Can he land enough shots? No, Dupe! Oh. He finishes him off. They've got some work to be done if they want to go up by four. Nitrocell shot away as Maya defends this black mirror looking towards Snowmobile. Smoke will clear. Maya stops it in its tracks. But it's Maya in a 1v2. Gets time for the reload with the vector. That's huge. But needs to square up his body. Oh. Only a single one left. Maya with one of the best clutches of the tournament. Garage Ace is flashed. He's got the LMG played up, and you'll just see all the utility from PZD will be dumped in. But Aces gets one. Psycho is aware that there's one playing on stairs. Julia will take out Neo Fighter. Plant going down somewhat successfully, but no, Aces sees him. Aces coming in. Can he get it? Two big kills from Aces. He sees another. A third. Aces. Oh my goodness. In a 1v1. Ew, he's still got the diffuser to work through. Julio will now watch. And who's going to prevail in this fight? A Sledge versus the Maestro. Any intel from Fnatic right now could possibly be going. But look at this. One frag grenade remaining from Julio, and he's priming it on the diffuser. He'll toss it out, and Aces, will he live? He'll get off the plant. The Maestro will shoot away at the wall. This is a bad oh, position oh, for Aces. Oh my god, how does this happen? C4 kill. Kanto gets Brid, but Brid responds onto Kanto. And again, still a defender in the site, and that's going to be Uno who gets Bibu. And as Spark gets pushed on, he is very wisely not getting the initial frag. Gets a triple kill! Wilkie now! Oh, and Waka will spot oh. him right through the mirror window, unfortunately oh. here for easily. This is an angle that he might be able to contest. No, unfortunately, he takes just a bit of damage there. A walk, I guess, the second one. Eclipse, though, will get one. Turning it into a 2v2. Now they push it on the site. The Bandit will lose out on this. Eclipse, the last alive on the Ella. He spots the head and takes him down. Ace for Waka? At least the 4K. ESM is falling apart in their comfort zone. Where can they find success? Pojo Man gets the first kill. The gas canister not denying. The second one will have to come out, and that will be successful. Chala comes off the stick, and he's eliminated by Pojo with the only kill for his team. Achieved on low HP. Pojo Man sees a third. He gets it. Nice shot. SMG 11, such limited ammo, but he can find two more. And oh, Bojo Man's absolutely insane. He's going for the fifth, but he doesn't even need it. The time. What a clutch from Pojo Man. He's back. He gets denied. It's a sea of blue yet again. Tempo getting all the kills. Four just in the last few seconds. Laxing at least gets one trade for himself. Let's make it two as he takes out Jarvis. But he's got a lot more work to do. Still three more players alive. He's already onto his pistol. He's going to swing it too. Gets another one. Let's make it four. Laxing, what are you doing right now? He's going to try and clutch this. The only hard part of this is he needs to realize that Mark is still above him. But the good news is he's denied the plant. He can play this on time now and just let it run out. And that's exactly what he's not going to have to do do as he comes in, shuts Mark down on the drop, and gets the ace on top of it. Amazing play from Laxi. Black here for Joyce to call by himself, and yes, I have another criticize him a couple of times. Today's been a good day for him. That's also a pretty big one, given the fact that we're down to 10 seconds, and he smokes it out as well. All he's got to do is live, but he's got five bullets left. Has to go for the reload. Does anyone even know where he is here? They have the diffuser back in their hands. That smoke has now been recovered away. Citizen goes down as well. Joystick, you're basically in a glorified 1v1 for a few seconds. Can he get no way does he get it? How on earth? Have they let that happen? He gets spotted trying to get through the rotate, leaves it up to Dream in a 3v1. One more smoke remaining for him. <gasps> through the rotate hole, beautiful play as Dream from below will now need to smoke out a possible plant. There it goes. Is it clipping enough? It is. Thinking they need to, needs to reposition. Dream swings around. Oh, he went on the ground. Dream has everything. It is clutches and he gets it. My goodness, two huge rounds in a row. This pissed. What? This is 
Oh, this is not a great Ooh. position to be in. At least Pino can Ooh. land two nice shots. Hello. And now Raps going in for a kill, looking to push. And he gets punished as well. How has this happened, Jess? A five versus two has become a two versus two. Thanks to some gnarly shots from Pino. Him and Julio to hold on. Do MIBR get aggressive here? Do they take their time and work together? Reduct is in, but the player's watching him. Pino with the 4K for Lipo is the last one left. Pino's looking for the ace, the save for Too many times, Rogue get the opener and then find themselves 4-2 down as Faze just chip away and take one man at a time. Here comes Kanto on the flank. Shut down in bathroom by Souls. 4v1, Deepak manages to get one, but it's likely to be his last. No, manages to find a second. It's 1v2 now. He's got about 15 HP, but there is a chance. The diffuser's down as well. That's the big one for him. Stepping across here. They held the angle, but Deepak, Big ET could go huge here. The the 1v1, cameraman stepping out far into the distance to look for a plant, and Deepak should know about it. He's holding tight, knows that this plant is going down, but can he get there in time? Cameraman's going to complete. Big ET finds a huge 4K. So far, it's been incredible. It feels like all of these players have had a long day down at Spoons and they've come out windmilling like an Englishman looking for a scrap, but talking of a scrap, Pino, the Punisher himself, poised for perfection as they all run in. They had an appointment with the Doc and he thought he'd treat all of his patients at once. Through the smoke, he busts open their lips. The hold down that line, still here comes the flash. <laughs> Magnet playing catch there. It's going to be Luna the drop down. Mental steps up with two. He brings it back into the realm of possibility that the Diffuser is going to be stuck in this scenario. The hallway's being watched! Mentalist! He finds the third as well. There's only one left. It's Fisho Guy against Mentalist. He's only got the one to find. Surely Mentalist cannot make this work. Just edging around. Oh, My God, what is that to come through? But it's smoked. Stopped at the top. Shaiko and... Lem's able to find one apiece. Crime goes down a four versus two. And this is that retake I was talking about at point. It's got to come and try and strike. They know where Kanto is now. They're going to be able to at least get the oh, down. But Kanto with the triple. One versus one once again. Rafal is that last player standing. The Maverick pulls himself out towards the breach. Kanto, he's holding on to the diffuse. He's taking it. He's letting it go. Pulls up. Oh, he the Kanto! There is the carry rocket, and there he is! Nation pushes into bathroom, gets one, and a second. Diffuser down. Canadian could win this round if he gets the third, and he does! A beautiful three-piece for Canadian. Doodle and Slash, the last one's alive. Canadian lit up by Doodle in the sight. Position known, and it's gonna be hard for him to win this. Nice shot there, but it's a pixel peak, and he cannot land the final kill. Slash heard above. He repositions and oh! Doodle goes down! It's the quad from Canadian! Only one more for Canadian to win this outright. And he gets the diffuser. Slash hug in the site now. He will be able to plant, but this has been called out. Canadian is well aware of this situation. Slash fakes the plant and then repositions to the hallway. Expecting Canadian to rotate. Thanks to the drone, he knows that that's not the case anymore. Canadian repositioning into workshop. There's only eight seconds left. Slash has to go for the kill now! Canadian's gonna be able to win this if he just plays it on time! And he's gonna do exactly that! It's difficult for him to spot. The diffuser will get set. Pengu knows where all this fire is coming from. He drops down, but no, a bit too slow on the return. Redgrove is one, he gets two kills. And that's a 3k for him. Can he get the fourth? Cantor he's already upstairs. A lot of fire down into Redgrove, and there's not much that he can do. He still has the Nitro Cell to chuck. Can he find it? The kill comes out! What? Redgrove, he clutches it! Cantor going down! I cannot believe it! The 4k from Redgrove! Pump up the quality of the round. If he wants to gun them down, the peak was perfect, but he doesn't land the shot onto the second man. He had a smart read, but now he's panicking. With 40 seconds, a 1v3 in this manner, it's not looking likely. Certainly not. He's had two attempts on the man on the rotation, but just not been able to shut him down either time. He's thinking about that window jump out. Doesn't have a C4. Can only go in through the window. Manages to get one onto BNX. Surely he's going to be shut down any minute now. Lines of sight are being held as soon as he goes anywhere near that diffuser. And they hear that disable animation coming in. They will look to pounce now. He's bouncing on and off. Gets one. That's an unbelievable headshot. Can he get oh. himself another? Surely he can. He's going to move around. Has he got time? Yes, surely. This is going to be an absolute fraction of a second, but I'm certain it was just before the seven second mark. And that oh. is an unbelievable clutch coming in. Shot. Two remain for Astralis, but a shotgun at close oh, range. Iconic. Let him go in. No. Iconic. Be patient. 
Be patient. What are you going to do? You know two no. are there, and he gets them both. There's only one remaining, and Astralis are in good shape. And JR and Iconic. the four came from Iconic. Yeah. Five seconds remaining now, but it's going to be a long angle. No, he drone hold him. What was that from Imarin? Looking for the bullet holes. Now we'll get one, though, as Derpe peeks on up, but everyone's stacking by the vase, awaiting the approach for Nello. No utility left. Diffuser in hand and a 1v3 in the midst of a crossfire. Gets one on a diesel and a second one on Imarin. Nello! Are you kidding me? The 1v4! Navi, a 